Centuries before vampires sparkled in the sun, before they roamed in leather coats and sunglasses, there was Nosferatu. A creature born from the darkest depths of fear and folklore. Nosferatu, translated from Romanian as, plague carrier, or, not dead. This is no elegant Dracula with a crimson-lined cape, no suave aristocrat seducing his prey. Nosferatu is a monstrous entity, defined by grotesque features and an unquenchable thirst for life itself. His story begins in 1922, with a silent film that would become one of the most influential horror movies of all time, Nosferatu, A Symphony of Horror. Directed by F.W. Murnau, this film was an unauthorized adaptation of Bram Stoker's Dracula. With legal troubles looming, Murnau altered the names and appearance of the characters, and thus, Nosferatu, Count Orlok, was born. Unlike Dracula's sensual charm, Count Orlok is a visual embodiment of death and decay, bat-like ears, long spindly fingers, and a cadaverous smile. He's a creature that lurks in the shadows, a predator who seems to exist purely to snuff out the flicker of life. Nosferatu's origin draws from ancient folklore, where vampiric creatures were not seducers but parasites, a literal and spiritual drain on humanity. These were beings that could not be reasoned with. They were the embodiment of the unknown. Unlike Dracula, who operates with cunning and seduction, Nosferatu is a predator of pure instinct, a force of nature. He doesn't speak, he doesn't charm, he simply is. And that's what makes him truly terrifying. But the most chilling part of Nosferatu's story is how it continues to haunt us. In 2024, nearly 100 years after his original debut, Nosferatu is being resurrected once again in a new film, reminding us that true horror never dies. Nosferatu, the name that echoes through the darkest corners of cinema history, and maybe, just maybe, through the shadows behind you right now. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the origins and impact of Nosferatu, be sure to leave a like, share your thoughts in the comments, and hit that subscribe button for more explorations of classic and modern horror. And remember, beware of shadows and keep your garlic close. Until next time, stay curious, and stay spooky.